Lead die. Sneak evil wizard. No, he said this guy loves his proper intro stuff, man. I just like to have fun. I just want to have fun. That's it. All right, fine. Here's a proper intro. NYZ Fighters. Welcome back to NYZ Fighters Deck Profiles, man. Uh, Miss HLN, double O. Uh, I know you guys want to see Uzi make another deck profile, right? Yeah, yeah, I want to see Uzi make another deck profile. Show me, show me the likes. Oh, you gotta get the thumbs up. All right, if what if Uzi's video gets, we gotta go high because he ain't gonna do it otherwise. If Uzi a hundred likes, that's it. We have 235 subs, but who, how many of those are gonna like the video? We need likes to see if this is gonna work. All right, so you you heard him. If that video gets a hundred likes, if Uzi's deck profile gets a hundred likes, he will make the next deck profile video. And it will be super entertaining because I'll be right behind the camera making fun. All right, so we're gonna get into the, <laughs> we're gonna get into the video. Uh, it, we have Bobbity, Evil Wizard Bobbity. We got Bobbity, Evil Wizard Bobbity on this side, and we're gonna talk about the leader as we always do. We gotta start off with the leader because the leader is the reason why we run the deck. So, auto effect is when you play this card, you get a Majin Buu sealed ball from your deck and place it into active mode. So instantly you start the game, you're gonna start the game with 49 cards, thin your deck out, just by having this leader, which is nice. And he and that's all he pretty much do. But he awakens at six, and then when you awaken, you draw two cards, and his effect on this side is, you see that? You get a little, a little nasty, little cockroach looking dude, man, you gross. But whatever. So we got Bobbity, Creator of Evil. Active main, once per turn, you could choose one of your battle cards, it gains 5,000 power, for the duration of the turn. So pretty much how I feel is, you're not attacking with this leader. There is no reason why he's attacking. Even in the show, he ain't do nothing besides tell people to do things for him, put that Majin Buu symbol on their head. And pretty much, man, he's just, he don't do nothing. He got minions. We got minions in this deck. We gonna use our minions. So the auto effect is once per turn, when your card attacks, when your battle card attacks, draw one card and place one card from the top of your deck underneath the Majin Buu Steel Ball. <clears throat> so that auto effect, so pretty much auto effect once per turn. I don't think you could choose. Yeah, I don't think you could choose. So whoever attacked. Whichever of your battle card attacks first, you have to use this effect, uh, this auto, but you only use it once per turn. Which is a little annoying, but you just gotta keep that in mind. And 10,000 attack on the awakened side. This is not a, you are not attacking anybody. Early game, yeah. But other than that, no. Weak. Weak sword. Your leader's weak sword. But. It's a pretty cool effect, and we're gonna see how this deck runs because he was pretty fun in the show. So since Bobby created evil, he's gonna bring out the Majin Buu Sealed Ball. First turn of the game, well, first play of the game. So we're gonna have to run this card at four because you do not. Actually, you can run it at one. Oh. I'll get back to you guys. All right, so, oh yeah, and we also, we got the giveaway going on. I wanna start saying every video, we got the giveaway going on. I want I want you guys to enter that as much as possible. Link is gonna be in the description down below. 
going to tag the video at the end. It's all up to you guys, man. You got to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. That that's a big giveaway for us. So, we just want to we just want to say thank you for everybody. Um right now at the current time of this video, we are 237 subs. I just want to say thank you each and every one of you guys for like, comment, subscribing, and then just enjoying our content and let us and letting us know what we're doing wrong and we're just here to entertain you guys. So free frame. Alright. So because of Bobby's effect, I just made a really quick adjustment to my deck. I run only one Majin Buu sealed ball. I'll tell you why. Because it, it takes it's 10 energy to use this card. I'm not playing this card late game. No. And and it's a red deck. So if you get to 10 energy, you don't want to play this card. Hmm, you might want to actually. But no. I'm not gonna make the adjustment again. We're only running one of these because you know how I like to play. I am super aggressive. I want to make all my plays as soon as possible. So and this is a field card. Auto effect is once per turn when the number of cards under this card reaches five or higher. Place this card in your drop area, then choose up to one Majin Buu Revive from your deck and play it. Then shuffle your deck. So pretty much as soon as you get five cards underneath this card, you have to use this effect. And that's it. How do you get that to the field? Bobby. That's why I only run one. Because I don't want to play this card late game. What if you want to bring another Majin Buu you ain't bringing another Majin Buu out. You gonna bring the other Majin Buu, but Majin Buu Revive, you are not bringing them out unless it's with this card. That's what I'm saying, but if you want to get another one out, they might KO that one out. That's a good question. He's gonna have to wait for the answer. So we run one of those, and then we run four Majin Buu Revive, because you do not want to have this card in your hand or in your life. You want to have at least one of these cards in your deck. Because without this card in your deck, you can't use this effect. Or you can't use Bobby, the sealed balls effect. Sealed balls, <laughs> it's funny. All right, so basically Majin Buu Revive, it has double strike, 10 energy to bring out. You need at least four red energy to bring it out, but this whole deck is red. Uh, double strike, like I said before, and it's auto is when you play this card with this skill of Majin Buu's Ball, inflict one damage to your opponent's life. So that means the only way you can use this card's effect is with this. And the only way you're bringing this card out is with this. So it's just, yeah. So I run Majin Buu's Steel Ball at one. I run these at four. If you draw it, play it as energy as soon as possible. Because other than that, who wants this? Who wants this? I'm being mean. Who wants you, bro? Who wants you? And then we run four of the tenants. I guess these guys are twins or whatnot. I don't know. I haven't seen this in a while. So run four of these. Auto effect is well, it's two energy. Uh, auto effect is when this card attacks, place one card from the top of your deck underneath the Modern Blue Silver Ball. 15 attack, not bad. 15 attack, two energy to bring out. This is a very powerful deck and very aggressive. The only person who's not aggressive in this deck is your leader. My English ain't too good, but whatever. Debura, the wizard's right hand. Run this at four. Um, What he does is pretty much his permanent effect is if this card is in rest mode, only blocker the deck. If this card is in rest mode, you cannot attack, well your opponent cannot attack evil wizard Bobbity. That means they can't attack your leader, and they also can't attack the other guy who I got in the deck when he's in rest mode. So you're definitely gonna attack with this card. So you're gonna attack, put them in rest, and then they're gonna have to get over that 20. So they're gonna have to hit you with 25 and it's easy to block so you bump yours up to 30 30 and you're good early game three energy stall out it's all i'm out 
So then, like I said with the other guy, you got mind control and Bob. Six energy, 10,000 attack. Uh, when you play this card, you could you could look at the top seven cards of your deck and then you play two red cards, or two red battle cards from your deck to the field with 25,000 attack or less. So you bring him out, you bring him out, attack with him, no one hitting this man, but who cares? You just want to protect your leader, but, or you can use him as combo power. This deck is not too bad, not too bad. Then I run two double shot Super Saiyan 2 Vegetas. Um, when you combo with this card, you get to play it at the end of the battle in rest mode. Not bad, only run that two. Other plays I could do in this deck. All right, so the next card that we're running is Ult Ultimate Evil Dark Prince Vegeta. Four energy, double strike, 25,000 attack, and his auto effect is when this card KOs one of your opponent's battle cards, you have to place until there's five cards underneath Modern Boost Steel Ball from the top of your deck. It's an auto effect, so you have to do it. So you KO card, boom. Put five cards under here. Then you're gonna bring out your Majin Buu Seal Ball. It all works together. It all works together. And this card right here fills them up. This card right here, all the way. So running this at three, get that power up. And then to add more power to the deck, and we running two Jurin's Fist of Justice. He's double strike and his permanent effect is this card can attack battle cards that are in active. Mm. 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 That's interesting. Alright, so I run at two. Okay, so the auto is once per turn when this card attacks a battle card, you switch it back to active and it gains 10,000 attack. So what you could do is just attack your opponent's battle card, switch it back to attack. And then bump them up to 30,000 double strike and hit your, hit your opponent's leader. They're going to either negate it or they're going to have to block it. And they're going to have to get rid of a lot of cards from their hand. And also you can search Jurin out with my Control and Bobby. Red card under 25,000 attack. And then you got the staple of the deck. You got the draw power, 10,000 combo draw power for the red color only for the one attack which we learned so next we got the negate we run this at four we got vitals assistant uh counter attack is you negate the attack and then you switch one of your battle cards to act then we got ghost attack super saiyan 3 go tank you can evolve them but we ain't got no evolve we don't got no other go tanks in this deck uh, permanent is if you have four or less cards in your hand, this card and all your ghost tokens gain double strike. Ooh. And you can also play him with Mind Control and Bobbity. You bring out Bobbity, bring him out, you bring Jurin out, then with him he gets three ghost tokens when you play him. Yeah, when you play this card you get three ghost tokens and they have 15,000 15, power. That's insane. Mind Control and Bobbity, get Jern, get this young man right here. Then you got four, you got pretty much five cards. Five battle cards with double strike. That's a potential game as soon as you hit six energy. So I might, I might up my ghost attack. I might up them by one or two. Just so that I can get that play going, but we gonna keep going with the deck. Now we get back to our Majin Boos. Our Majin Boo, we got Prodigy Absorption Majin Boo. His effect is you can evolve him with a Go Tanks. You got one Go Tanks there, so I doubt you're gonna evolve him. Double Strike. Well, I doubt I'm gonna evolve him. Double Strike, and if this card has Go Tanks underneath this card, uh, and no cards in your opponent's combo area, this card cannot be KO'd. So pretty much this card cannot be destroyed unless they combo, but most likely they're gonna combo to destroy it. So Awakening Evil Majin Buu. You can evolve them with a red Majin Buu. It'll take two energy to evolve them, two red energy, and then Union Absorb 
Place one battle card from your hand under this card. Choose up to one modern boot other than Awakening Evil modern boot. So other than him. With 25,000 attack power or more. From your deck and place it on top of this card. So if I had more go tanks or if I was running more go tanks in this deck. I could put go tanks under this card from my hand. Then bring out him and then he can't be killed by your opponent unless they put a card in the combo area. Which is doom. And then we got, keep it going, we got Sensing Old Kai. Sensing Old Kai. His effect is, his auto effect is at the beginning of the, your main phase. Look at the top three cards of your deck. And then choose one Miraculous Comeback Ultimate Gohan among them and add it to your hand. Then place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order that you want. So I run that at 2, just to search out this card right here. And I run it at 4, we got 4 of them, Miraculous Comeback Ultimate Gohan. Double Strike, we're going to get into his effect right now. 6 energy, double strike, 25,000 attack. His permanent effect is if you have 3 or less cards besides this card in your hand, reduce the energy cost of this card by 4 in your hand and battle area. So if they have like a Jern or any any card that destroys a battle card with two energy or less this card will be destroyed so you gotta keep that in mind but his auto effect is when this card kills one of your opponent's battle cards you inflict two damage to your opponent run that at four the cycle is vicious and then the last card of this deck the beautiful, beautiful monster right here. Big Dad. You call this is my man right here. This is my man. I can't wait for them to make a Kid Boo card. I can't wait. I'm hoping Kid Boo comes out in the next set. Maybe Kid Boo is gonna be a new color. I don't know. I doubt it. I doubt it. But we got Grand Evil. Show you. We got Grand. Looking at ruins. See how I'm gonna cheat. Alright. We got Grand Evil Absorption Majin Buu. We run that at 7. So it's 7 energy. Well, I said run it at 7. No, we run it at 4. It's 7 energy and 30,000 attack. So you evolve this card with Sun Gohan. Uh, if you evolve it, then 6 energy to evolve it. Dual attack. That means it attacks twice. And then active main once per turn. Pay attention. Pay attention. Choose one so Sun Gohan. Adolescence under this card for the duration of the turn this card can attack battle cards in active mode And gains all the skills all the skills of that Gohan So these two right here are the staple my deck So pretty much I'm going to absorb them Eat them up Now I get dual attack so I'm gonna attack both of his battle cards and flick four damage. It means all skills and That's cool. Permanent. It's all cool, man. It's all cool. So it does get the four energy drop, so that means if you have less cards in your hand, you will drop this card's cost by four. So that means this card will cost Three energy, so if they have like a Goten, that blue Goten, when you combo with it, you pop one three card, one battle card with three energy. This goes bye bye, but it's vicious. It is vicious. That is pretty much what this whole deck is about to get these two brothers together and just yum, 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 yum. destroy everybody. This deck is very aggressive. Very aggressive. But. But. It can be KO'd by Raging Attack of Vegeta. Auto skill. Because if the opponent has three or less cards in their hand, ah. the energy cost of the Grand Absorption Majin Buu, which chooses the Comeback Ultimate Gohan as the target of its activation skill, becomes three. So it can be KO'd by Raging Attack of Vegeta's auto skill. I already said that. Ah. 
Oh, he did? Yeah, did. See, this is what we got Uzi here. Uzi's the judge. Uzi's going to get behind this camera again. We just going to have some fun with Uzi, babe. Uzi going to make the next deck profile. Get that video up to 100 likes. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, we are going to have a battle, of course. We do our deck profile. But we got we the battle. The we do the battles first, then the deck profiles. But obviously, we got to make the deck first. So we do a little backwards, but we having fun out here. So I will be playing Uzi soon because I got to get going. I'm starved. Thank you for checking out the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Remember the giveaway. Don't forget about the giveaway.